Hi, this is Don Willis. I'm here today to discuss PCGS Mobile Coin Facts. This is truly a, an innovative, uh, exciting new product that we have to offer to all subscribers of PCGS Coin Facts. This allows you to access all the information on PCGS Coin Facts from your mobile phone, a smartphone, whether it's a, a, an iPhone or a Droid or anything that can access the internet. You have it in your pocket, you can pull it out no matter where you are and find out all the information you need to buy and sell a coin. So today I'm going to walk you through how to use this product. Okay, I have to use a simulator to demonstrate this today, but you would be using your phone. Okay, so now let's, let's go to your browser, open up your browser, and type in m.pcgscoinfacts.com. All right, we'll hit enter. Now this takes you to the home page for PCGS Mobile Coin Facts. If this is the first time you've entered the home page, you should go down here and click this arrow, and it asks you if you want to bookmark or add to your home page. This will add an icon to your home page. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I like that. It says Coin Facts. We're going to add it. Okay, so so here it is. Uh, now I'm coming in the next time into your phone, you just tap on uh, uh, your icon and bingo. Here you are on the P on the PCGS Mobile Coin Facts home page. Now you see the home page has a list of all types of different coin categories and so forth. And at the top, there's a, a box here, a dialog box that says PCGS number. In that box, you can enter the PCGS coin number and grade, and it'll take you to exactly the coin that you're looking at. So let's try a coin 2426.65. That's coin number 2426, and the grade is 65. This actually is everything you see on the left-hand side of your certification, the left-hand side of the slash, okay? So we're gonna type that number in, we're gonna hit go, and here we are, 1909 SVDB. I picked the brown number. Um, I picked MS65 as the grade. So you see we've got MS65 in the center of our phone, 64 below, 65 above. We see the PCGS price guide is 3,000 for 65. PCGS population is 50 for 65. And now we're showing the last three auctions where the coin was a, in a PCGS holder in auction. Uh, uh, December 2010, October 2010, and so forth. And then here's the last three times it was an auction in an NGC holder. Uh, May 2011, and so on and so forth. So there's, there's a bunch of information on here. Let me, uh, let me show you how you can use some of this. First of all, all these auction records are uh, hot links to uh, auction sites. I just clicked on this auction record from December 2010, and it took me to uh, the website which shows us what the coin actually looked like in auction. I see that it was the um, Houston sale, that it was sold by Heritage, and it sold for $2,415. Now, here's a lot description that came along with the coin and so forth. I can actually even click on this view original auction and it will take me right to Heritage's website or the website of whoever the auctioneer was. And I can look at you know, the information on that website just as I was, on, I was on their website and looking at their auction archives. Down at the bottom here, this is basically your browser uh, controls. And, and just like uh, normally, uh, uh, you know, your backward arrow, forward arrow, and so forth. So let's go through the back arrow. Let's just go back. Okay, this is where we were. And we'll go back one more time. And now we're on the same basic page that we started off. So I can click on any one of these auction records anywhere as we are and get that information. Now I can also go up here and click on red and brown. I see the information for brown coins, but I can click on red and brown. And here we go. Here's, here's uh, red and brown information. The price guide is now 42.50. Pops 689. Bought more auction records and so on and so forth. Now, with your phone, you can simply turn your phone sideways. I've got to simulate that. But when you turn your phone sideways, you get instead of three grades, you get five grades. So here we have 62 through 66 for red brown. Here's all the information, the various uh, prices, the populations, all the auctions, and so on and so forth. I can actually down here click on show plus and I can put the plus grades in here. So now instead of going all the way to 62, I go to 64, but I've got 64 plus, 65 plus, 
66. Now, if I'm curious as to what it might look like in higher grades, I've got this arrow that I can click on and move up. So um, I'm now, and, and 66, it turns out, is the finest uh, graded uh, uh, 1909 SVDB in red and brown. I can do the same thing, whoops, I can do the same thing in red, okay, and uh, here it is. I'm gonna turn it back, it's a little easier to see when it's standing up and get a little more information for each coin. So here we are, we're back on, on the um, 1909 SVDB uh, screen. I'm looking at reds now, I can go to red-brown. Um, I have pluses turn, turn on, I can turn pluses off, okay. We tried to design this to have as quick a response time as possible. Um, instantaneous is our goal. Now, uh, you see uh, in the screen that there's uh, uh, various um, uh, controls down here. Like if I go to this auction tab, I can click on it and it'll show me the last 25 times this coin appeared in auction. If there's an image of the coin, it'll show me a thumbnail of the image and I can actually click on one of these if I want to. And uh, uh, here's a coin that, that sold in, what was this, the July 2011 Summer Fun Show. Okay, um, I can also click on the Rarity button and it's gonna show me some, some information like uh, survival rates, uh, relative rarity, uh, condition census, and so forth. Um, I can click on Pop now again, I'm still on 1909 SVDB, MS65, well no, actually I've skipped the grade, it's 1909 SVDB, red and brown, and I can pick grades, I might pick a new grade, maybe I'll pick MS63 for the fun of it, and here we are, we're on a screen that's focused on MS63s. I can also go uh, look at prices by grade, you know, again, here's, here's all the PCGS prices, all by grade, I can click on any one of these, like MS61, Here's the basic, same basic information for MS61 coins. And then um, I can go to the detail screen. On a detail screen, there's a lot of uh, you know, generic information, if you will, like mintage, weight, diameter, and so on and so forth. And we also uh, have some photographs for you, some, some helpful aids here. Like for example, you know, here's a blow up of what to look for, how to identify the VDB on your coin. Um, uh, we actually, we can uh, show photographs and you can use your, th your finger just to scroll on a phone, but I've, I've got to use this little arrow here. I can scroll through and look at all the photographs that PCGS has for that particular coin. So who knows, maybe you'll find the coin that you are looking for uh, or looking at, perhaps buying in, in one of these photographs. So let's go look at a different coin. Maybe we'll see something else here. At the top, we have a series of buttons. This button in the center is a little house. It'll take you home. This button, the magnifying glass, is your search key. So let's go search for a new coin. Let's try coin number 6539, and let's just try grade 65. So here we have coin 6539.65. It's, it's in a 65 grade. We're gonna go look at that coin. It's a 19, 1892. Barber half, it's in proof, and the PCGS price guide for 65 is 3,600, the population is 2,900. Here are all the auction records again, um, the, the, uh, the, the, the show pluses. I didn't click on this before. This basically just lists the coin by grade. Um, let's just start with 66 here for the heck of it. So here we have uh, uh, the, the, the same detail as we had before. I can go click on one of the auctions and I can find out this is a heritage auction from October 2010. Coin sold for 35.94. I guess they've lost the, the, the photo of this or we've lost the photo. Uh, but I mean, every, all the information, I can go back to the page by clicking the backwards arrow, all the information that I need to know about that particular coin. Now, remember this is a proof, so there's a proof category, there's a cameo category there's a deep cameo category. I might want to look at those just for some comparative purposes or if I'm buying a coin that's proof but I think it's actually going to become a cameo, you know, I might look and say, well, 
Okay, it's uh, 5,900 price guide in Cameo, and it's 4,750 in proof. So maybe that helps me stretch a little bit when I want to buy the coin if I think it's going to upgrade. Uh, so a lot of information on, on proof coins. I can, again, I can go to the uh, detail screen. I can look at a whole bunch of different images for that coin if I want. Um, you know, maybe find the coin that, that I'm looking at there. Let's try something that's a little bit different. Coin number 7134.66. Coin number 7134, it's in a grade 66. I'm gonna go take a look at that. That's a Morgan Dollar, 1882 CC Morgan Dollar. And just wanted to show that, okay, we've got MS, we've got proof-like, we've got deep mirror proof-like, all the same information uh, that we've seen on previous coins. So price guide for um, MS, MS66 coin is 1350. Price guide for a proof-like MS66 coin is 2250. Price guide for a deep mirror coin in 66 is 4,000. You know, there's some pretty good information here. Uh, again, you know, if I'm looking at a proof-like coin and I, I really feel like it might upgrade or I think it's superior for the, for the designation, maybe not an upgrade, but certainly very much at the high end, that helps me make a decision as to how much I should be paying for this coin. Um, I can click on this related coins uh, tab and it will show me obviously the, the categories, uh, proof like deep mirror proof like, but it also will show me all the categories that PCGS has seen, all the different VAMs. If you're looking at a if you're looking at a coin in a PCGS holder with a VAM identified on it, you will find the information here. So again, it's fast. We've tried to make it as fast as possible. We've basically taken all the information that's on PCGS coin facts and we've reformatted it to fit on your phone. And at the same time, we've reformatted it to be more transaction oriented. So that if I'm looking at a specific coin in a specific grade, I've got that coin right here in the center. I don't have to look at more general information and then kind of sift down and find the coin I'm looking for. The coin I'm looking for is right here. It's got the pop, it's got the price, it's got the pop, it's got the auction records, it's got everything I need. Let me show you one other thing that's pretty, pretty neat here. So I'm going to the search field. I'm going to type in coin number 6100, and let's just type in grade 64, okay? Coin 6100.64 is the grade. Let's go search for it. Okay, it's an 1812 half dollar. I've got a grade 64 here with a price of 5100, and so on and so forth. All the same information that we've seen on all the other screens that we've looked at. This is the workhorse screen of PCGS Mobile CoinFAX. This is a screen that you're going to be using, I think, the most, most of the time. We haven't had it that long, but this is the one I use most of the time, and I think it's, uh, it's full of information for you. Now, you, you all know probably that an 1812 half dollar has a couple pretty significant varieties. So let's go back down to this. Well, okay, let's go this way. We can go either way, but let's go down and look at related coins for a second. Okay, what are the varieties? Well, there's the overdate, obviously. There's the large eight, which is very rare. There's a the small eight. And then there's obviously a whole bunch of different overdate varieties. So if we go just for a, sample, for a second, take a look at the small eight. Well, we see the price guy jumped up to 10,000 for a small eight. And here's some auction records. Uh, July of 03, that's quite a long time ago. One sold for 4,400 a PCGS. An old NGC coin in, in, in 2002 sold for 6,600. That's good to know, but what if somebody is offering you an 1812 and you look at it and you say, you know, I think this is the overdate. I might be able to cherry pick something here. Well, you can always click on the detail screen, okay, and it's gonna take you to the photographs. Now, here's a photograph of the, of the basic coin, but here's a photograph that helps you identify whether the coin is actually an overdate. Here it is right here. There's the one underneath. So definitely an overdate coin. Now, how do you tell whether it's a small eight or a large eight? Well, you go to the, uh, the, the other photograph here and you can see small eight and you can see large eight. And obviously, if you've got uh, on your mobile phone, you can stretch these out and blow them up so they're gonna fill the entire phone for you. So a really cool tool to help you identify varieties and maybe cherry pick somebody or, or at least be a very smart buyer, let's say. So let's say that, that you don't know the PCGS coin number. 
you go back to the uh, PCGS homepage. Let's say you've, uh, you're looking at a barber quarter. So we'll go to the quarters section. Uh, we'll look at all the different quarters. We'll select barber quarters. And let's say we're, we're talking about an 1894. Scroll up here, it's a little bit easier on your phone than my simulator is, but we're looking at 1894 uh, barber quarter. So here we are at the basic uh, 1894, we're at MS65. Uh, here's the price guy, here's the population, just like all the other screens we've looked at. You know, here are all the auctions. You know, I can click on, uh, let's go click on the uh, 2007 September auction, 1495. Uh, Goldberg sale, pre-Long Beach. And here it is, here's a picture of the coin, and so forth. So, I've pretty much walked you through uh, what Mobile CoinFax has to offer today. We have a lot more coming. Um, don't worry, you can't get lost with this application. You always have the home button. You can always go home. You always have the browser controls at the bottom. You can always go backwards or forwards. Uh, you can't hurt anything. You can't get lost. Just give it a try. This is truly amazing. It's going to bring all the information that we house in the host PCGS CoinFax application to your mobile phone. It's going to be fast for you. It's going to give you all the information you need to be a smart buyer and seller of coins. Give it a try. I hope you like it. Let us know. Thanks.